Hey, what's up, my construction entrepreneurs? Let me get my mic here. So what I'm going to share with you guys on this video here is uh, about different corporations. Okay. All right. So, um, and what I'm going to share is the difference between uh, LLC, S Corp, C Corp, uh, a partnership, and what goes along with uh, the inner workings of these these different corporations. Okay. All right. So you have to know that um, a business can be as small as one person, right? Uh, they can span. Uh, um, uh, throughout the state, they can stand interna They can span internationally. Um, they can go from one city to another city. Uh, as we know, right? We see large companies that have different divisions in different areas. Uh, 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 similar companies to like Michaels or Skanska. Excuse me. They're large. A lot of them are international. They're in every place. But we have to know that they all started off with. A piece of paper okay they all start off with paperwork all right the primary consideration for forming a corporation or partnerships lie in the tax requirements and the question of liability sent the tax requirements and the liability sit okay the main difference among Limited liability companies and limited uh, liability partnerships, S Corps, C Corps, only have to do with determining how much money goes into the IRS, when profits are taxed, and who's responsible for those taxes. That's how it goes. Okay. Um, so, an LLC, limited liability company. Okay. Um, a limited liability company is a flexible corporation with options. Okay. But the option is not available to all businesses, nor all regulations, the same in all states. So just because I have certain regulations here in California, doesn't mean they're going to pertain to the same thing in Louisiana. Okay. Generally, the IRS considers LLCs to have a pass-through status which allows all profits, losses from the businesses to pass to the owners, okay? And, and they're to be reported on their personal tax return. Uh, LLC owners are protected from personal liability for debts, debts or claims attached to the business, okay? And they stand to lose only what they have invested into that business. Um, LLCs offer a protection similar to that of corporation shareholders, okay? Um, um, but the simpler taxation and management goes into effect similar to the corporation, okay? So the great thing I like about LLCs is another thing is that you don't, act, you don't have to split up the um the equity of the business right so like an s corp or c corp you got to split so it's two partners you got to do 50 50 right it's four partners 25 25 25 well everyone needs to be if it's six partners everything needs to be split evenly right with a llc the great thing about it and this is why i love the llc uh, it has a stronger corporate veil, right? It's harder to pierce that corporate veil, and you can and you can lay out the percentages however you want, as long as they equal a hundred, right? So I can have um, eighty percent profit. This person can have twenty percent profit, right? I can have a hundred percent liability. This person can have zero percent liability, and so forth. So you can take those percentages and divide them how you see fit with the shareholders or or the, or the officer officers of this uh, or the limited liability company. Okay, that's what I like about LLCs. It, the only hard part about LLCs here in California is that 
if you were to start a construction company with an LLC, the board is going to ask you to pay for uh, employee workers bond, uh, which which you have to get for a hundred thousand um, dollars, and and you got to get one other bond that doesn't come to mind right now that I'll actually post down below. But you have to pull additional bond surety bonds for LLC here in California than versus other states. Okay. Um, and that's the only difference. Now at LLP, Limited Liability Partnership, uh, these are businesses where there's more than one owner who all have limited personal liability for the business debts. Okay, and LLC are primarily used by um, licensed lawyers, attorneys, doctors, um, uh, 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 and some states do not permit any sort of businesses apart from those licensed professionals, right? They won't allow uh, contractors to get uh, LLP. They won't allow um, um, uh, auto mechanics to get an LLP, okay? LLP, uh, uh, a partner in an LLP is protected from personal liability in a case of debt and claims occurred by another partner, right? Which, which makes it good, right? Because sometimes you don't know everything your partner is doing. So keeping your personal assets from being used to pay for the mistakes of another, of your partner or your, 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 your trusted friend is key, right? So LLCs are easier to organize and manage than a corporation, uh, making them uh, uh, preferable for professionals who just want to protect their personal assets. Okay. Uh, let's talk about C corps, S corps. Let's talk about S corps. So uh, S corps are not a legal business structure, right? They're, they're not. Uh, the IRS grants S corp status to qualifying C corporations, right? And a lot of times, uh, uh, you will see. Once you file uh, for a C corporation, uh, when it comes to, w w after a month or a few months, the um, the IRS will ask you if you want to switch over to an S corp. You'll see that all the time, and a lot of contractors switch over to S corps. That's why you see a lot of contractors with S corps. But what happens is, is that us as contractors, we don't even know the damn difference. We just know we want a business, we want a corporation, and that's it. We're not familiar with the uh, 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 the guidelines for taxes um, and what we have to pay out and the duties we have to do to keep these corporations in good standing. We don't realize that until later on when we become successful, but because we have made all the mistakes in the past with uh, keeping our corporation in, 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 in good standing and regulations, now we have to pay out all these damn fees, right? And that's what I had to do as well. I had to pay out a lot of fees because I ignored the corporation taxes, uh, franchise uh, state, um, the franchise, um, franchise, uh, wow. <clears throat> um, uh, franchise, Wow, can't even think of the name of the franchise. Anyway, it'll come to me. So S corps are now legal business structure. The IRS grants uh, S corps status to C corporations. Okay, and the change in status affects the taxation of the corporation profits. Um, uh, it's all it, so uh, S corp is intended for small to medium sized uh, uh, local businesses. Right. That means you cannot uh, most likely you cannot have an S corp outside of the state that you're in. OK, uh, S corporation cannot have more than 100 shareholders. Shareholders uh, never have personal liability for the business debt. OK, but they pay personal tax, personal income tax on any dividends or salaries drawn from the business. Excuse me. OK, S corps are not required to pay corporate tax, uh, and, and that's similar to like LLCs, right? Uh, they're pass-through entities, OK? 
okay? And all the losses and profits go through the corporation's owner, okay, for the S-Corp. As a corporation, uh, however, an S-Corp, um, S Corp must perform a variety of bureaucratic duties to maintain compliance, including issuing stocks, uh, uh, passing bylaws. That I know some of you guys this now rings familiar, right? When you were signing uh, up for your corporation uh, and hold um, uh, uh, shareholders and director meetings and 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 take account of minutes. Right. So if you've been doing that, you actually, you know, have um, uh, most likely you probably have an S Corp. Um, but let's talk about the C Corp option. Right. Which is what a lot of us start off as. And then we turn over to uh, to S Corps uh, as contractors. OK. Uh, uh, C corporations are generally favored by larger companies due to the uh, uh, improved flexibility provided in, com in comparison to S Corps. Okay, uh, S corps may have unlimited shareholders and have different levels of voting privileges among the shareholders. Okay, making it easier for C corps to grow and expand their shares. Okay, uh, like S corps, C corp shareholders must pay personal income tax uh, on earned dividends. Okay, but unlike S corps, C corps also pay corporate taxes. Okay, uh, opening the possibility of being double tax. Okay, that's what this is why people are not C corps for a lot. C corp shareholders are not generally responsible for any business liability, just the shareholders. Okay, as a corporation. Uh, C corps are subject to the same management and regulation compliant requirements as an S corp. Okay, so hopefully I explained that in a nutshell, and it made sense. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to keep the video short to the point. But if you have any questions, let me know. I'll uh, get you the answers on those. Okay, but what I want to tell you is, don't forget to subscribe and like and share, especially if you're gaining information, valuable information uh, from these videos, okay? Show me some love, okay? For the ones that's already sending me comments, I appreciate it, that's awesome. I'll keep up the good work. I'll make sure I get you some valuable content. Uh, but I also wanna let everyone know that we will soon be releasing our own estimating system, and it's the CES estimating system. And that's the CESS, that's the Contractors Entrepreneurial School and Services Estimating System. And we've been working on this, but I've been working on this for over eight years, okay? I have developed a system by taking a little from each estimating system I have worked with, like um, On Center, uh, uh, ACSS, Heavy Bid, uh, Sage, Stack, plan swift and you know a lot i'm not saying anything is wrong with those systems but i'm just saying the learning curve on them uh, uh for me was a was a bit longer than what i have developed so uh a lot of times you know when 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 contractors get my system um that learning curve shortens because it's, it's a little bit easier to use. So when you want to transition over to a traditional estimating system, it's a lot easier for you and your team to move data and to understand how that system works. You can navigate through that system a lot easier when you first start off with a similar system like mine. Um, now, mind you, this system will cost. Uh, right now, we're ranging it to about $300. So uh, uh, look out for some videos on that. If you're interested, make sure you reach out to us. We'll get you some training, do a demo for you, and show you how this system can fit within to your organization, no matter what size projects you're bidding on. I actually have, I actually have uh, bids that have listed on my channel that have used that system with. So it's a great system. Look out for my construction entrepreneurs. I'm going to let you go with that. Remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. I'm going to see you guys um, on the next one, okay? And um, just want to thank you guys for being there, showing up, and your time there for watching.